beautiful house with a beautiful wife. You may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? Hey guys, thank you so much for all the likes and views of my last video. I had no idea it was going to kind of blow up like that. And I'm trying to make more of um, all these princesses looking like Halloween-y and spooky. Uh, I kind of work full time right now and I'm still in school so I can't make them as often as I'd like. But I hope you enjoy and can just, you know, sit back and relax and watch these. Um, I could always free draw if I wanted to, but I honestly just am having a lot of fun kind of... I would say like remixing the screen caps if that makes sense but um yeah i'm gonna keep trying to make this a full series so hopefully you like i'm sorry that sometimes it looks rushed i honestly forget to take videos while i'm drawing because i get really invested in it but um yeah it's almost done so i hope you like it and i'm gonna keep posting as much as i can as soon as possible thanks Next up, Renee Rapp, the reigning queen of the plastics, in honor of October 3rd, which is the day I actually drew it on, but it took longer than I thought, so here we are. You know what Broadway and touring performers do backstage? Well, a lot of the time we watch YouTube videos of things like the Jimmy Awards, and I kid you not, collectively freak out and fangirl over these babies born with mutant lungs, just like ready to snatch our jobs. And like not even upset about it because they're incredible. The audacity of the talent present at, are you kidding? Anyway, hope you enjoy.
falling down at the party Saddest little baby in the room As usual, I start off by blocking in the general shape of my portrait in a medium tone. I then block in the shadows. It's gonna look ridiculous, but just, just watch. Next, I block in the highlights. I put them everywhere that I see them on the portrait, and this is just a speed drawing of the process. I am actually doing the exact same thing as I did before. I'm just repeating, so just shadows, highlights, shadows, highlights. I use a soft airbrush tool to smooth everything out to make it look neat and I usually use a liquify tool to rearrange any features that are out of place. I repeat all the steps that I've mentioned a billion times until it starts to look right. I like to use the selection tool to select a certain area and then color it in so it's gonna give it sort of like an edge. This gives more visual appeal to the eye, you can see the edge that I just formed. I do this in areas where the highlights and the shadows contrast a lot. Remember to use these tools to your own advantage and remember to never give up. I'm at a Disney, Disney. They tricked me, tricked me. Had me wishing on a shooting star. But now I'm 20 something. I still know nothing about who I am or what I'm not. So call me a pessimist, but I don't believe in it. Finding a true love case is bullshit. I'm at a Disney, Disney They tricked me, tricked me Had me wishing on a shooting star But now I'm 20-something I still know nothing About who I am or what I'm not So call me a pessimist But I don't believe in it Finding a true love case is bullshit Cause I felt sad love I felt bad love Sometimes happy love Sometimes I'm just giving up Turn it around Everything stays right 